सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यू एच बी थ्री एंड वी डिड लेक्चर्स वन टू नाइन एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट वील बी डूइंग द एक्सरसाइज इज वन एंड टू सो वी डिड एक्सरसाइज वन वी स्टार्टेड विद एक्सरसाइज वन ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ वी प्रैक्टिस सेशंस and we are up to step 5 just to briefly recap in step 1 we were just trying to observe the imagination as it is without trying to change it without trying to stop it without trying to evaluate it just observing it the way it is observing the feelings the thoughts the expectation in the imagination particularly our concern was with the feeling so to observe the feeling in the imagination at every moment in the second step we were trying to see that the feeling that we have at any moment is it naturally acceptable to us or not do we seem to want to continue with that feeling or do we want to drop that feeling in step 3 we were asking whether this feeling that i have at any moment am i comfortable with this feeling or am i uncomfortable with this feeling in step 4 we said we asked the question who is deciding this feeling that i have at any moment who is deciding my happiness or unhappiness at any moment because we said that when i have feelings that are naturally acceptable to me i am comfortable when i have feelings that are not naturally acceptable to me i am uncomfortable so i am in comfort in harmony or in other words in happiness with feelings that are in line with my natural acceptance and i am in discomfort i am in conflict disharmony i am unhappy when i have feelings contrary to my natural acceptance so it is important to see who is deciding this feeling that is leading to my happiness or unhappiness and in step 4 we concluded that it is not the other person outside who is deciding my feeling it is not even the situation outside that is deciding my feeling but that i am 100% responsible for the feeling that i have at any moment so in other words i am 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness and this can be a very revealing a very rewarding realization that this is now all up to me earlier i may have thought that somebody else is irritating me disturbing me making me angry and i felt helpless that i can't do anything about it and i was miserable i was unhappy but now when i see that i am the one responsible i can have the right feeling regardless of the other person's behavior suddenly it is very liberating i am no longer dependent on somebody else for my happiness my happiness and unhappiness are governed by me i haven't given my remote control to somebody else
then in step five yesterday, we just briefly talked about this, that since it is the feeling that I have at any moment that is deciding my happiness or unhappiness, and it is I who am deciding my feeling, then I must also be sure to see what is the basis on which I am deciding the feeling. Is my feeling based on how things really are? Is my feeling based on the right understanding? Or is my feeling based on some assumption may not be in line with the right understanding of the natural acceptance? For instance, If I assume that I have a relationship or I am related to those people who are uh, my immediate family, and if you see that will also mean that I am seeing my relationship with those who are connected to me by the body. So for instance, my parents, my children, perhaps my brother, my sister, what we call blood relatives. So I may see it like this, that I am related to all these people. But I may also think, I may assume that those with whom I am not associated through the body or those who are not linked to me through the body or those that are not my so-called blood relatives, those people I have no relationship with. Now we'll find that this assumption be very strong and I may not be aware of it. And now this drives my feeling, the feeling drives my thoughts and ultimately my behavior. And I see that my behavior is very different with these two types of people. I may have a different type of behavior with my parents, my children, and I may have a very different type of behavior with my, say, my spouse's parents or my neighbor's children or some child on the street. Because now I have assumed that my relationship is only with my own blood relatives. So like that, we may have many assumptions. I may assume my relationship with those whose opinions are like mine. So my behavior with like-minded people may be different. And my behavior with those whose opinions vary or are different from mine my behavior may be very different with them. So there is a lot of indefiniteness in my behavior, depending on what I assume to be true. And most importantly, it's not just the behavior, it has to do with my happiness. So if I assume my uh, if my feeling is based on an assumption, then it is not clear whether I will be happy or unhappy with that feeling. If the assumption is in line with right understanding, 
in line with my natural acceptance then i will be comfortable i will be happy but if the feeling is not in line if my assumption is not in line with the natural acceptance then i will have a feeling that is not in line with natural acceptance and i will be unhappy with that feeling so this is a very important step also and it brings home the point that what is important for me is to have the right understanding so that i can have the right feeling all the time so that i can be happy at every moment not just when things outside are to my liking but all the time so that can be very very liberating is what we were saying so yesterday we had also talked about an assignment that we can when we observe the imagination he said that in all your interactions with others and of course when you are observing your own imagination even when you are by yourself observe that the the feeling that you have within you and while observing the feeling also reflect on the basis on which you decided to have the feeling so if anybody would like to share their observations from yesterday you can take your sharings namaskar madam namaskar to all uh madam uh, when we were discussing about a particular person yesterday uh madam is am i audible to you uh, madam thank you uh, when we were discussing about a particular person yesterday we uh, satirically we were talking about uh, him so uh, what i feel I, i observe my feeling i am happy uh and uh, who decides it uh, i i decide i i decide it and uh, who is responsible i am responsible but what is the basis uh, for that if i think it is not uh, on the basis of natural acceptance even though i am happy but it is not on the basis of natural acceptance that's why i hope it will not continue so i want to share it uh, similarly i want to share another one okay. suppose if i if i have grudge of one one moment madam please so somewhere there is a problem here you are oh, not madam. comfortable you are saying oh right? yeah 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 at the same time you are saying you are happy happy yeah because uh, we satires we keep and uh, hmm? suppose uh, satirically means what uh, definitely we it seems we are happy but we are not uh, really happy i mean if you are not comfortable within ah yeah yeah madam yeah that is a clear indicator that you are not happy isn't yeah it? yeah yeah yes madam so this is a very easy way to check okay madam okay okay you so you are having a feeling that is in line with your natural acceptance hmm 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 you find you are comfortable you are happy yeah madam if you are uncomfortable definitely it is not in line with the uh... right and you are unhappy you can see that you yeah, are means what yeah 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 it is lagging you inside yeah yeah isn't it yeah but in the beginning we feel happy but inside uh, uh, we we are uh, means what we feel discomfort means we are really we are not happy <laughs> yeah 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 i think what you are trying to say is you, know, you can um, correct me if i'm wrong madam but lot of times what happens is we identify with our imagination hmm. our opinions hmm. our thoughts oh madam 
and so when say i think a certain way i have some opinion about something no oh, madam yeah madam somebody else has a different opinion about oh, it. madam yeah yeah i may try to change that person's opinion based on my opinion mm -hmm. no because i think i am right yeah so madam and is wrong so i try to change that other person's opinion i try to dominate the other person with my opinion mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. when i do that i you know when i'm identified with my imagination mm -hmm. i feel good for some time that yeah, yes, i got my way now mm -hmm. the other person has to agree with what i said mm -hmm. but if you really look at it when you refer to your natural acceptance mm -hmm. now you can refer to your natural acceptance regarding your feeling mm -hmm. if you are trying to uh, refer to your natural acceptance regarding your behavior and all that then it can be confusing mm, yes madam so that's why you have to identify your feeling at that moment what is mm. the feeling you have yeah do you have a feeling of relationship or do you have a feeling of opposition mm -hmm. are you you seeing the similarity the relationship with the other person or are you seeing yourself as different from the other person mm. what do you, you are definitely different in that case because only trying to dominate only na yeah so now you when you refer to your natural acceptance mm -hmm. you realize that this is not right for me yeah 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 So, and you want to come out of it and even before you consciously refer to the natural acceptance mm -hmm. many times you will find it nags you it bothers you mm -hmm. later it on is. also when you think about it mm -hmm. it may not seem right yes madam that's why we have to refer to the natural acceptance mm -hmm. that's why we must observe the feeling in the imagination mm -hmm. only then can we get a good idea about it yes man really yes what else were you saying so can like? i say can i say is it uh, by impartial introspection can i introspect impartially then i know the truth so is it uh, related to the referring to the natural acceptance well it is you know when we say impartial and all i don't know what it is yeah, madam madam yeah But see how things really are if i can see things the way they are yeah yeah we do the exercise too we'll see more detail about it mm hmm hmm sometimes we interpret things very mm. different aha uh -huh. based on our own assumptions our own yes. assumptions yes madam okay <coughs> yeah really so i may think that this is right mm -hmm. and i think it so strongly mm -hmm. that i think that this is how it is but it yeah. may not be mm -hmm. so ultimately what is the way forward we must be able to see things the way they actually are mm -hmm. like for instance the example that we keep taking somebody is shouting mm -hmm. somebody say a family member or somebody else i know mm -hmm. i am interacting with that person and that person shouts now i may assume that this person is shouting at me mm yeah yeah almost so uh, i get ready to defend myself yeah yeah and i i might be very aggressive i might shout back i might try to uh, raise my voice beyond the other person so that i can dominate over what they are saying mm -hmm. this i may try yes madam but if i look at my natural acceptance mm -hmm. and i see my relationship with all mm -hmm. now i may see a different picture i mm. may be able to see that i also shout sometimes 
and when i shout i am very uncomfortable inside i am not happy inside mm. so now i can see that this other person who is shouting is also not comfortable inside is not happy inside mm. and it's not like he is trying to put me down he is just expressing his unhappiness mm. see i can only express what i have Mm-hmm. If I am unhappy at this moment, I will express my unhappiness. Mm-hmm. If I am happy, I will express my happiness. Mm-hmm. So now I see a different picture. Mm-hmm. Situation is same, person is same. Yeah, yeah, madam. It was the same. The shouting was the same. Only mm-hmm. thing that has changed is our feeling is different. Our feeling is different because. I have been able to see it in a different light. Yeah, really. I have given it a different meaning as compared to earlier. Hmm hmm hmm. What meaning I give it? That is what is significant. That is deciding what kind of feeling I am going to have for this mm-hmm. person. Hmm hmm. Isn't it? Really, madam. Because that's why the basis is important. <laughs> yes. Yes. So can I? Can we? Can we conclude that playing jokes is not uh, in line with natural acceptance? well it depends see sometimes uh, now if somebody has you know i have a relationship with somebody where i know that the other person does not feel hurt uh, okay okay yeah 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 <laughs> that i am not hurting the other person's feeling with that and the other person feels fine with it yeah 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 that is important that kind of, you know relationship where we do this often and it seems all right okay even the violence is involved in uh, joking uh, uh, it depends uh, from situation to situation is involved <laughs> okay okay madam because practically uh, what we see that's why i'm sharing no if you have violence involved means what you're hitting at the other person generally if we analyze joking uh, comedy and all generally violence is there na somebody what is not in uh, order uh, that we concentrate uh, it happen uh, generally the root cause if we uh, what i put it as is a lot of times for us humor means making fun of somebody else ah uh, yes madam isn't it yeah yeah so what exactly are we doing there mm-hmm. we are putting down somebody else yeah 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 <laughs> in other words we are trying to show that that person is different we are better or we are right and that person yeah really that is also involved because we are not that that's why we feel happy like that so we are not really you know in line with our natural acceptance yeah really madam we are not seeing our relationship with the other person rather really? we are focusing on the differences and we are really? making fun of that person and we think that it is you know fun it is humor mm mm-hmm. mm and so much of the humor you will find is like this yeah really madam what i observed we have we had one lesson also in our schools that's why i recalled yeah so, so you have uh, to see you know yeah, yeah if madam, we go to a natural acceptance we get the true answer yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so can i add a sentence to our analysis so is there uh, be any happiness based on uh, not right understanding no na you see do you find any time that something you know uh, you have yeah to yeah yeah happy? really madam acceptable are you really happy really really because if i have grudge upon a particular person my practical experience madam if anything mm-hmm. happens i feel happy but inside my conscience says uh, it's not good that's why it means what that means uh, what i can conclude Something that we can bothering yeah, me inside no yeah, then how so am i happy we happy cannot be happy what? happy means what you are in harmony you are comfortable inside yeah 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 madam practically you are uncomfortable how are you happy really really madam Isn't so it? there cannot be we cannot be happy if you are in not in line with uh, uh, the natural acceptance really madam yeah so yesterday i got that doubt because uh, sometimes temporary happiness uh, uh, is is also no madam suppose we we take some food or uh, any delicious food and all it is temporary we are happy 
can we say or we uh, naturally accept in, in in line with natural acceptance how are you in line see is it you want to continue with that feeling all the time we we cannot continue but at that you moment cannot. so it's some sort of pleasure you feel no can can't we say we it defined, happiness we defined happiness very clearly as a state in which you know you are comfortable within okay and you want to continue with that feeling yes you don't want to come out of that feeling that is yes. that state of happiness that is also there if we take food what we like we want to continue it and uh, oh you meant to say that uh, suppose if i like uh, a laddu uh, one laddu i i feel happy but two laddus a little bit decrease in happiness so like that can we call it pleasure because you call this also happiness you call that also happiness therefore you are getting confused yeah 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 madam yeah madam we defined happiness very clearly mm hmm hmm no that feeling of being comfortable within comfortable within suppose if you take any uh, delicious food we don't feel comfortable within you kind of excited aren't you yeah really but it seem uh, so it you means we are not you feel you feel good for little bit of time but you can't keep doing that mm -hmm. you can't continue with it okay 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 so that's and not and later on when the stomach pains you are definitely unhappy with it okay okay in that way we can analyze okay okay uh, i thought uh, it is also happiness but it is temporary uh, we mm -hmm. cannot continue so you call it pleasure then okay, so that okay. you can differentiate between the two okay okay for a very long time this i have doubt madam because mm -hmm. uh, what is that uh, we suppose if you are in line with natural acceptance we will be continuously happy but sometimes <clears throat> temporary happiness by uh, by our uh, indriyas and all suppose if i see whatever i like i feel happy what is the difference between these two happinesses that's so qualitatively not quantitatively uh, quantitatively natural acceptance yeah yeah madam we say one is to verify from the natural acceptance now you also have to experientially validate it means you mm. have to live with it and see does it work for me and if it is naturally acceptable to you you will find that it leads to mutual happiness not just your happiness happiness of the other mm -hmm. so if i am making fun of somebody and that person is feeling bad is it leading uh, to mutual happiness yeah yeah that is cleared madam that is cleared but regarding the uh, sensual pleasures let us say uh, that doubt i have suppose if i yeah, take this how long can you continue with um i can continue whenever i want i can continue what do you mean whenever i want you want to continue with it and not come out of it at all mm -hmm. yeah 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 you so, keep eating laddus do you not want to at some point stop eating or you want yeah, to yeah really really eating? really we stop eating so we cannot okay. say it uh, happiness see if you are if you want to eat one laddu yeah madam you go through that no you heard that example yeah you should, yeah i feel hungry yeah tasty and i eat okay now if i keep eating at some point i am no longer hungry but it is still tasty for me so i keep eating mm -hmm. then if i still keep eating what i find is of course i am not hungry i don't need it the body doesn't need it and i have eaten so much that now it doesn't seem tasty also have you noticed that Ah, that okay. After taking more laddus, uh, that happiness may decrease. That is okay. But when but when I take the first laddu, then it causes confusion again. Mm -hmm. okay. Just don't call it happiness. Just see what is happening. Hmm? Now, mm. when you consume more, is it feeling tasty? No, no, no. <laughs> no. Now, if I force you to have more, no, you must continue. You I said you continue. like it. You must have more. Okay. Are you happy? Are you comfortable? No, no, no. I don't no. feel comfortable. You want to come out of it, no? At some point, you get fed up and you say, "Enough! I don't want." Really, really, madam. You watch a movie, you like it. You can't keep watching movies. You get out of it at some point. You say, "Bus enough. Let's go home." Ah, uh, uh, that I understood, madam. That I understood. But the thing yeah, is so that then you. What is what? How did we define happiness? A state uh, from which you don't want to come out of. Uh, that's okay, but what is the quality difference? Quantitatively, it is okay. 
I think you reflect on it. We already discussed. Yeah, yeah, madam. I am sorry because I am taking more time. Thank. Uh, I am sorry, but uh, some other time I will continue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you, thank you, madam. Thank you. Uh, uh, namaste, Didi. Namaste, Sabiko. Uh, uh, Didi, actually, so there are some situations, right? Uh, as a human being, either we have a uh, like a detached from everything, but uh, some situations are there when you reject because of uh, something you have done extraordinarily or you have done nicely, but reject rejection is there because of uh, somebody has not seen properly. For example, office work, you have done something nicely and your boss has not, not seen even the report and everything and rejected. And uh, that time you feel, you understand everything, you observe your emotions, like I observe my emotions. But certainly I see that somehow I am uncomfortable with the feelings. Then after a while, after one day, I can in the, get to the normal situation. But that particular time, I, I feel uncomfortable. So how do you, how, how can I manage? Because this kind of emotions will come in each situation when you get the rejections. Like when we'll get the rejections. Yeah. So you did some work and you expected some outcome, but that outcome did not happen. Something else right. happened. Right. Isn't it? Now you are disappointed with that. Right. Check what is your feeling at that time for the other person. Yeah. Hmm? You will notice that you seem to have a feeling of opposition for the other person. Definitely, yes. Who this? He didn't even, he just rejected, he didn't even look at it. Hmm? Right. So now I am not able to discuss with the other person because with this feeling of opposition, I cannot discuss. It becomes an argument. He doesn't listen. He gets angry. I get angry and is closed. We can't discuss. But the feeling inside, it lingers. Isn't it? Right. So, check if the discomfort is because of that, you know, that what you expected did not happen or it is because you have this feeling inside. If you have the right feeling, if you have a feeling of relationship, I'm not saying that you just ignore what happened outside. Mm -hmm. Certainly, you feel disappointed that you know what work you did was not looked at. Mm -hmm. So, with the right feeling, can I go and discuss with this person? Can I express you know how my disappointment and that you know I can request the other person to take a look at it. With the right feeling. That is important. A lot of times we don't have the right feeling, so we are not able to discuss. We don't have any option. So, not but bad. we continue with the feeling and we continue with the discomfort. But we are right. not able to do anything about it. Right. Mom, uh, uh, that time we will do, but this, uh, the right, with right feeling, what I, I thought that the next time, if this is a benchmark, then I will do more work. I will match with the uh, his or her standard, right? But at particular time, because of rejection, I I face this. But in after a while, I have I have same kind of feelings. I have a no positions. I will go and talk and I will discuss and I will resolve the issue. But particular time, what is the uncomfortable? Kya? Uske ye to uncomfortable rahe gai. So that is the things I was concerned about more. So that time, that time also, that moment also, check your feeling because we keep changing our feeling moment to moment, moment to moment. Later on, next day you feel, okay, it's not such a bad thing. Let me do something about it. You don't feel so bad. Right. But at the moment when it happens, check your feeling at that moment and then say, what, what did you find? Hmm? Okay. Right. Right. 
बट वेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हैप्पीनेस इज कंटिन्यूस लेकिन आई हैव ब्रेक दैट हैप्पीनेस इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन सो दैट इज योर माई क्वेश्चन सो इज इट द सिचुएशन दैट इज रिस्पांसिबल और इज इट पॉसिबल फॉर मी टू एंश्योर माय फीलिंग रिगार्डलेस ऑफ व्हाट हैपेंस आउटसाइड दैट इज द क्वेश्चन नो राइट so this is what is being said that we can ensure the right feeling with the right understanding don't we keep saying with the right understanding you can have the right feeling and you can be happy regardless of what is happening outside so that doesn't mean we just accept everything that is happening outside and say okay okay it's fine i'm happy but we have the right feeling and then we do something about it outside also but we are not unhappy we are not uncomfortable with being in comfort we are able to do something about it that is what we are trying to that is where we are trying to reach right yeah yeah thank you thank you vidhi thank you uh, <coughs> ma'am uh, in the material uh, we have seen uh, three words that is self exploration self investigation self Uh, evolution so what is a, how, how these words should be connected yeah you see we discussed this much in depth earlier also self exploration means what we look at our imagination right we look at the feeling in the imagination we check with our natural acceptance see if it is in line or not this is the process we use no this whole process and when we are doing this and we are uh, reflecting on this then slowly we awaken to our higher activities so this whole process is self exploration okay. self evolution is as we investigation ma'am self investigation yeah i don't know what you mean by investigation the word is there in the ppt self exploration then an arrow that means maybe showing uh, leading to self investigation then means you are just evaluating your checking isn't it so when you what do you mean by exploration see the words are not important you try to see it in yourself then you will not have any doubt mm-hmm. no no when we show the ppt to students such a doubt comes then we should be able to explain that is why yeah. i am telling you so when you have you know when you do this process you see your imagination you look at the uh, feeling you check with your natural acceptance right this is self exploration mm. now with this you are evaluating the feeling you are you know finding out if it is in line or not so you are investigating into the feeling you are investigating into it and ultimately the outcome of it is that you are going to awaken to the higher activities so that is evolution hmm. Hmm. you are helping you know in this process there is evolution of the self hmm. Hmm. okay yes. Yes. yes 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 thank you today we can also try to do the 10 minute observation exercise we haven't been doing that yeah so now here we look at this and you know what bali ji reddy ji was saying you can see what is happening there when we haven't awakened to the higher activities in that lower diagram you know lower left side diagram you can see so when we haven't awakened to the higher activities and we are you know largely going about with the imagination you know 
unguided financial acceptance. So our motivation for our desires, for our feelings is coming from the outside, largely by preconditioning or sensation. Then in that case, see what is happening is here the natural acceptance is not being referred to, isn't it? Now, whatever is my assumption based on that, I have some desire. But whether that desire is going to lead to happiness or not, it's not clear. Whether that desire is in line with natural acceptance or not, this also if I don't refer to, then I may be going with any kind of assumption, any kind of preconditioning, and it's not clear whether it will lead to my happiness or unhappiness, isn't it? So, whether I'll be happy or unhappy, this is very unclear, indefinite. My behavior is also indefinite. But in the upper right diagram, you can see, once you have awakened to the higher activity, or even if you haven't awakened to the higher activities, if you are at least referring to your natural acceptance, you can bring your desires, your feelings in line with your natural acceptance. And you will find that at that moment, when your desire, when your feeling is in line with your natural acceptance, you are happy. This, if you you know, are able to ensure within you and you can ensure it once you have completeness of right understanding. Once you have um, sort of awakened to these higher activities, then you can ensure this feeling in line with your natural acceptance all the time with the right understanding all the time. Now, your state of happiness is continuous. Now, your behavior is also definite. Right? For 10 minutes now, let us observe this. Let us try to observe that whatever feeling I am having at any moment, is it being decided by my natural acceptance or is it being decided by preconditioning or sensation from outside? Okay. My desire, my feeling. So you will have a clear idea of where we are. So for the next 10 minutes, let us do that observation, check on your feeling and see whether it is in line with your natural acceptance or whether it is being driven by some preconditioning outside or sensation. Okay, so I will mute myself. And we can observe for 10 minutes. Okay. We have been observing for about 10 minutes now. And we can switch back to the previous slide that you have seen. I'll just briefly um, go through uh, the assignment also, and then we'll take questions. So 
for the next 24 hours in every incident and interaction with the others evaluate the feeling right the feeling in yourself and check what has been the basis on which you were deciding your feeling or thought was it right understanding or assumption in the absence of right understanding and do i see the need for right understanding and the need for deciding my feeling and thought on the basis of right understanding so it is similar to uh, the assignment we had yesterday but it is important to do this and um, see for yourself that in your interactions what is happening how are we deciding the feeling um we we'll take the questions now or the observations Uh, ma'am uh, earlier slide there were uh, there was two words you no know, determination and authentication uh, yeah, we we'll come to that later uh, let's forget about uh, that oh, we we'll come to it later uh, okay uh, what about ma'am here we refer to only feeling and thought desire and thought expectation what about expectation yeah the most important thing that our focus is going to be on is the feeling because that is what is driving everything else okay feeling and thought is also included but uh, feeling is there that... thought is there expectation are there all three are there try to see it in yourself you will see them all there but uh-huh. our focus is on the feeling because that is the one that is significant for us uh-huh. for our happiness uh-huh. yeah okay okay um devi prasanna mishra ji namaste didi namaste all uh i observed my imagination mm-hmm. the, in the process i started with the whether i am sitting in the right position or not and uh, then um, i it was filled by another imagination that uh, we still have the pressure cooker in the kitchen it came to my mm-hmm. uh, what uh, there, there was one uh, presser cooker having its uh, okay. okay and uh, i thought that maybe it is uh, done more whistles then that may be problem so i thought mm-hmm. that whether anybody is there to attend it or not so mm-hmm. so in that uh, after some time i uh, understood that there is somebody uh, to take care then my the, my observation went to many various Uh, thoughts and uh, uh, various thoughts different type of thoughts like with some problems or, or something and then <clears throat> but while i was doing this after some time i i thought that yes uh, i felt the need of uh, the Uh, understanding the relationship with the uh, all the unit and then uh, the kind of harmony i thought uh, it was it came to my imagination and uh, after that uh, somehow i could not concentrate on anything only different thoughts were there mm-hmm. this observation yeah nice so lot of times when we are you know not in the practice of observing very frequently we'll find that our focus is shifting to what is happening outside because even if our eyes are closed or open or whatever because we are so accustomed to looking outside our thoughts all of this is linked with what is happening outside so it's like sometimes we recap what happened yesterday 
what happened today, what is happening now, and so on. And as we keep moving, uh, you know, looking within, and we get habituated to it, we it becomes a practice of doing regularly. Then we'll be able to see the shift from looking outside to the inside and dwelling on, reflecting on the different things that we have discussed, you know, relationship and harmony and coexistence. But we'll have more discussion tomorrow. <laughs>